Hello fishies, this is Abby. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Um, if you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here time after time. I love you guys. We're having such a nice little community. What the heck? Community of people coming in. Sorry, it's like all major arcana first row. So this is going to be a general for the sign of Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, whatever. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm not a cop, right? I can't tell you to watch or not. This is up to you, whatever your connection to a Pisces is. Just remember, like, any reading on YouTube... It, not every message is going to be for you, so if it doesn't make sense, then it's not yours, right? It's easy as that. If I give advice and you're like, that doesn't apply to me, it's like, okay, so it doesn't. <laughs> it's for somebody else, okay? No big deal. We have the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So this feels like... I got sweet soul touch. Interesting. This could have to do with you nurturing your inner child. It could also have to, like, I'm getting very much that meaning this time. It could also have to do with um, a connection with someone that you feel a great deal of warmth and sort of homey energy towards, whether or not that's, you know, something that was romantic or not or whatever. Sometimes it's just good friendships. But this feels like uh, there could be some reflective energy there. Because whoosh, you've had a lot of stuff come through. <laughs> so sort of in your past energies or the energies that you're sort of moving out of here, Pisces, we have the sun, the fool, and death. This feels very much to me like there is a great deal of clarity that has come to you. Where before you may have been struggling. And... There's now like this recognition that this, what is happening is, has actually been about illumination, about knowing who you are, about knowing where you're going, about your happiness, about new starts, taking risks, taking chances, right? With the things that you've learned about what your happiness is and where it's going. And then the death card that it's, it's part of the transformation that maybe you were in sort of that butterfly soup, right? You were in a little chrysalis. You're waiting for it to sort of crack. You were wondering what was going on. <laughs> and it feels like there's an acceptance here of like, okay, that's what's happening there. That's what that was. It wasn't that I was nuts. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that I was failing at things. It wasn't that I was doing whatever. It was that there was a giant shift happening. Giant shift. Interesting. Let's take a little deeper. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So new starts, really. Love, relationships. New starts. New jobs, new career. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. So with the Fool and the Three of Pentacles... This feels like understanding of going towards something new. Do you see how this fool is like staring down at the work of this person of the Three of Pentacles? The Three of Pentacles um, is a lot about collaboration, but it's also a card of mastery. This person is, you know, they're creating something. They're very lucky. They are <laughs> um, creating something of value and everybody's benefiting from it. This feels like a, a something that you're going towards as far as stability or, or a particular project that you are taking some leaps of faith on and understanding that it's not necessarily going to be um, perfect or stable or that you might need to talk to other people. You might need to get advice. But it's, it's really gorgeous energy. With the death card, you have the seven of cups. So there could be a Scorpio energy here. Um, we have Leo, Aries, and Scorpio, okay, as far as signs. The Seven of Cups is, with death, this just makes me feel like part of your transformation is realizing your gifts and where you can take them. That the, whoa, there's, I've got so many ideas now. But something had to be sort of torn down and opened up for you to get to that place of realizing your options. Huh. 
in your sort of current energies, we have 10 of coins, five of cups, 10 of wands. So a lot of focus on abundance, especially things in the 3D, money matters, legacy building projects, family, happy home, having everything that you need, right? Um, really gorgeous, gorgeous energy. This pentacle is now kind of like in your hand and it feels like in the mind space especially. Could have a lot of thoughts about that, that 10 of pentacles kind of abundance that can have to do with having the family legacy, right? Like... I prefer actually, I know a lot of people like 10 of cups. I'm a 10 of pentacles person because <laughs> it's like you have all this stuff that brings you the emotional security. It's family, friends, legacy, all of that kind of stuff, building a tree, building something that lasts for generations, tree of life type energy. But then it's also like the financial stability, having this, the tangible stuff. It isn't just feeling things with cups. It's the stuff in the 3D, which I really like. Let's take a look at this 10 of wands ah so a lot of projects now it looks like you got this is your third 10 fourth 10 you got it 10 10 10 10 lots of 10s going on here boo boo so uh, a lot of things that are completing a lot of things that you are almost done with this feels like this 10 of pentacles for you you may be feeling very much like there's a bunch of stuff that you need to do to achieve that um, which can feel kind of burdensome. Now, what's up with this five of pentacles? Strength. Mm-hmm. A lot of willpower in the hermit with this other ten of wands. Okay. So with this five of cups and the strength, you could have a Leo person that you're dealing with that you may be experiencing some regrets or some sadness over. Um, this could also be some reflection as you are building habits that have to do with um, using your ability to, like your, what is it? How come I can't find the word? Having to use your ability not to react too much, your resistance, resilience, resisting temptations of kinds. That's sort of what I'm getting there is it's kind of like you could be looking back on other chances you've taken or chances you didn't take, right? Like maybe I was too like scared of security or loss before and I never took a certain leap. And now it's like, okay, I need the, <laughs> the leap of faith also requires a different kind of strength that I feel like you're trying to tap into right now. Why am I getting so many weird words? Resistance, overbearing, like control. Like it feels like there was a perhaps, now there's reflection, right? A little bit of reflection here. But it isn't just that you get, you're going to get a lot more. You're going to get a lot more than those three cups that maybe you lost. And here's the thing. Time is going to pass anyway. <laughs> Time's going to pass anyway. Okay? It, like whether or not we're doing a project, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but it's like, you know, the project you didn't start two or three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, 10 years, two years, 10 months, whatever, still passed. That time still passed. Whether or not you're working on that project, the time passed anyway. So it's kind of like, why not just try the thing? I think that's what you're switching into right now, which is very nice to see very action oriented we have four wands on the bottom of the deck just catching my eye so this could have to do with relationships home purchases um you could have a new goal of that kind of thing but it really feels like a celebration and sort of crossing the finish line here right see that everybody just sort of like getting all turned because they're like this is the best yes because there's six of wands underneath that you've had probably some some victories here See, it feels very nice. Now, sort of in your supporting energy, you have the Ten of Wands along with the Hermit, so Virgo energy and Fire Sign energy. I think you've had this Hermit down here in this position before in the last couple readings, Pisces. This feels like... I feel like this Hermit is trying to urge you because we have this 10 of wands twice. So sort of on your mind, all the different stuff that you could do, 
all of the different roads that you could take with the seven of cups is transformation and it could be in that place where with this fool energy coming in is just like let's just do all of it <laughs> and i feel like this hermit is trying to get you to really reflect and really use your inner wisdom use your own enlightenment this could also talk about like you could get guidance from someone in particular a financial planner or a guru someone who's an expert in their fields that can also be the hermit but this feels like there's a call for you that before you overburden yourself, um, if you are already kind of stacking project on top of project, trying to learn too much about too many things at the same time, um, maybe out of a sense of regret or time lost or that kind of thing, it's telling you, the hermit's telling you to get focused, how focused they are, right? On that lamp, on the star that's in that lamp. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, so we have Ten of Swords, we have Ace of, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Coins. It's pretty good. Let's see. King of Swords, you could, okay. The Sun and the, <laughs> do you see this? The Sun, the Sun, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. There, whatever this thing is, that you've created, you've had some illumination on, on this start. It is though there is a skip here where it's not appearing as much, it shows up in the future. Okay. So you could have a moment where there's other stuff going on. There's other stuff you're having to deal with. You're trying not to overload your stuff, but the same combination is showing up in the future. Keep that in mind. I love it. Okay, bottom of my clarifying deck, we have Ace of Wands, passionate new beginnings, new projects, new things that you want to work on. I'm feeling a lot of like Stevie, Steve Jobsy entrepreneurial energy <laughs> with you guys in this reading. This could also talk about like Ace of Pentacles can be basically like the cornerstone of a brand new relationship, a long term union. And that could be the thing that you're you're moving towards, possibly a Leo, because I mean this gorgeous energy is popping up here too i really like it we have this king of swords with the ten of swords so aries um no 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 gemini libra aquarius energy now this feels much more like if the ten okay if the king of swords found themselves in the ten of swords they would do whatever mental work, strategy, um, self-talk, whatever they needed to do, they would do what they needed to do to release this. Tens are a release. So whatever this was about, I'm getting very drawn to how this person has their hands tied behind their back and then this king has their sword upright, okay? And it's, it's kind of like, I think you are choosing to free yourself from whatever little mental prison um, was happening there. Could also be something like, say, a, a crummy ending, a painful ending with an air sign. This would be someone possibly older than you. Um, could even be a father figure, potentially, or a boss, someone who's very good negotiator, good with their words, not good with the feels, okay? They intellectualize their feelings. So they turn their feelings into something that can be analyzed. Um, it doesn't mean they don't feel them, but they keep very like close control of them. But I'm feeling for more of you, this has to do with the notion of taking a lot of charge, a lot of victory over whatever sort of little mental mental mind game starts here, right? You've got so many tens <laughs> and that can happen when we're going through this transition, right? This death of the ego, death of the, of a certain life cycle, a transition where we're like, things are all changing and you're seeing things kind of wrap up one by one. And it's like, well, what, what the heck is all of this? It's a lot of processing. Okay. A lot of stuff to process. So it feels like that's what that is there. So with this coming into the future, I mean, hello, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. Um, and this feels very clear and bright and innocent. Like even just from the, like, can I even put this all together? <laughs> like, it's just so 
beautiful Pisces. Like this realization that's kind of happening for me, this, this line can be like the headspace. And then this is sort of like the heart space in the 3D. And so it feels like these things that you are realizing and wishing and processing and going through, they're starting to show up in your actual reality. I love it. Okay, we also have two of coins in the King of Cups. So water sign um, with the King of Cups here. I feel like you are going to be making a choice to be much more in control of your emotions. Or there is a choice that's going to be coming up here that is going to require you to not be quite so, right? Not so logical and I'm gonna cut all these bees out and never talk to people again. Like it's not quite so strategic as the King of Wands, but this is sort of like underneath your supporting energy. It's saying like, you can, you can handle the things that are coming your way. You can do this tightrope dance. You can, you know, juggle the things that matter to you. The two of coins is often like, He's often seen dancing or juggling or doing all of these things. And it can talk about trying to just have fun with it and come from a place of emotional control. And emotional control doesn't mean not feeling your feelings. It can very much be about just no, like picking your battles, you know, focusing on the right stuff and figuring out what's worth getting upset about and what's not. The six of cups here. This could be talking about things like soulmate connection. Sweet soul touch is the thing I kept getting when I looked at this. So it feels like there's some kind of return almost to innocence with the way that something is brewing here. Interesting. I like it. Okay, let's get you a couple oracles. So for this energy, please... Could I please have an energy oracle card that will aid my Pisces, provide some guidance? What can we have here, please? Okie dokie. All tied up. Mm-hmm. This sort of feels like some of this, like tens on tens, right? So it's things wrapping up. Might feel a little... Yeah, lack of motion or sense of personal freedom. Interesting. So this says, says the card shows a woman tied up with vines around her wrists, body, and arms. Receiving this card upright represents a situation in your life where things seem to be severely stuck. A major drama may be growing on or around you or going on around you, stopping you from moving forward, or it may be that some technicalities are blocking your way. Perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made. Whatever it is holding things up, the restrictions may be feeling quite oppressive at this time. If this isn't technically the case for you, what's tying you up is your own personal stuff. Look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you tying yourself up in some emotional angst or in a negative habit that you refuse to deal with? If so, it's time to cut the vines and make some serious changes now. You needn't live in your self-imposed jail any longer. I love when that happens. That feels like it was so bang on with some of this stuff. So there's an affirmation here. Uh, if you want to write this down, it says, I release stuck energy old habits and restrictions. My life is opening up. I am free to choose my reality. Hell yes. Gro oh, it just got tingles. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm going to give you a wisdom of the oracle. My allergies are acting up a little bit, so I'm not going to do a, a, the sacred rebels because it's a lot of reading. Okay, could we please have a card of guidance for my Pisces? So you got a couple. We get change in the wind and truth be told. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so 12 and 14. 
12s and 14s maybe have some significance to you. We have 23, which is a 5, 3, and 5 here. And you got 10s on 10s on 10s. Friendo, you got so many 10s. <laughs> this is crazy. So, 12, a change in the winds. The essential meanings are a sense that unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift and uncertainty about which direction the wind will blow. Yeah, makes sense. So I'll give you the main oracle meaning. It says, it's human nature to yearn for certainty and to resist change. To want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white, nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. Yes. I like it. So it's sort of like being a little scared of the change, the shift, the time lost, all of that kind of stuff. But it's because there's change. I love it. Now, let's take a look at this one, number 14. Truth be told. Okay. So the essential meanings... Our honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, and clarity of communication. Okay? So, here she be. And it says, as Oracle's message says, there, there is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, the subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or the believer. So, the literal truth versus the personal truth. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are being called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied up to, tied up to an illusion will set you free. Okay, I'm going to repeat that because it has similar wording to the other card. Nothing less than surrender to what is, Peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied up to illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed, my babies, hell yes, and spirit will answer with miracles. Let your freak flag fly. Your authenticity. I feel like, especially with this illumination, the sun, this innocence, this acceptance, radical self-acceptance, I feel like is going to be your key here. Now, just to lighten it up before we go, here's the Rebel deck. These have cursing. If you don't like it, we're grown-ups. You can go ahead and not listen. Boom. Winning. I love it. <laughs> okay. You got a good thing going. Okay. Don't ruin that shit. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. With some sort of like this Ten of Swords feels maybe a little self sabotage -y. Just feeling like really stuck in the head. Um, I think, yeah, if something is good and you're wondering if you deserve it or you want something that's good and you're wondering if you deserve it, hell yes, you do. We also have, you are giving too many fucks, okay? Too many. Give zero, <laughs> all right? Which doesn't mean that you don't care about anything, <laughs> but it's like this King of Cups the king of cups gives a hell, like they give a whole lot of fucks okay but they don't let the fucks they give derail their plans ruin their relationships like you know what i mean like they are in control of their emotion they speak their truth they they've they're they own their emotions they are not owned by their emotions right beautiful we also have whatever you are thinking about Ooh, don't do it it says, now is not the fucking time. Okay. Especially if it's something that ties you to the past, something that would increase sort of, I'm, I'm thinking this emotional regret. There could be something that you're thinking of doing. I don't know if it's talking to an ex or a family member or some, like, 
I know I've gone through this in my life where I've, say, shared something that I want to do with someone that I love. And I expect their reaction to be encouragement, but then it's not for some reason. And that can be incredibly deflating. That's sort of what I'm getting here. Um, for some of you, it could very well be not to engage anything that will get you off track and get distracted because you're already opening up to all of the possibilities in front of you and trying to focus. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay. This is what I got for you today, Pisces. I hope this helped you in some way. Um, if you ever want to give back, there's links in the description on how to do that. Even if you just, sh you know, tolerated the ads, left me a comment, liked the video, that helps more than you can ever imagine. I appreciate every single one of you um, who chooses to come by, chooses to click, chooses to keep coming back. You guys are the best. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Okay, take care.